What's up everyone, Edwin Anthony here from Resolution Design, yet again with another Shopify video tutorial with this $1 account. Anyways, what we're going to learn on this video here is how do we update our website's favicon or this little tiny logo. So I have several tabs open by default. You might see this one when you're in the back end of Shopify or if you're in another you know, website, you'll see this little tiny logo right here. Um, but then when you actually open up your your website you'll see like a, a globe right and that's what we're going to talk about today all right so favicons typically favicons are you know you could set up that setting towards the theme and let's just get right to it let me first show you where we could go ahead and update this so shout outs to world builders market um we're almost done with their website they're going live pretty soon uh shout outs to you guys for hiring us that's why we're showing your business here uh, as far as designs go. So if you go into online store themes, go to where it says customize, let's right click on this. And again, most of the themes that are from Shopify, you'll notice that it's pretty much the same settings. Uh, if you purchased your theme from, you know, one of those $35 theme stores, I'm not sure if what I'm showing you right now is going to be exact. You might run into some issues. So guys who are watching, this is all pertaining to if you worked with a Shopify developer that uses, um, one of the Shopify theme stores template as a framework, then follow this instructions. Let's go ahead and continue. So from this page right here, whatever it is that you're looking at, let's go towards the bottom left where it says theme settings. On themes settings, you should find a control here where it says favicon, right? This is what we're looking for. And so, you know, you might have a longer list or whatnot, but this is where it's at. So we're going to click on this. We're going to expand and your screen might look different. So depending on what you have going on, that's what it is. So in this particular situation, we're going to update uh, World Builders Markets Favicon. This is kind of like this old, um, not old, but it's a separate business organization's Favicon, for an example. And if you've been working with a graphic designer, say from Fiverr or wherever, uh, chances are that uh, they might give you a logo that has full transparencies. In fact, it looks something like this. Let me just give you an example. Here it is. So in this particular logo, you'll notice that it's transparent. And of course, uh, I'm on a Mac, guys. So if you guys are on Windows and there's a way that you could tell right away if, uh, if a logo has a background or not, then that's what this is, right? So it's a logo with full transparencies. And in my opinion, this could work, but you know, I'm a picky guy, so I want things done the right way. And for this instance, we're gonna do two things. We're first going to optimize the logo so that it's suitable, not just for uh, the, 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 um, the tabs here that are in dark mode or in light mode. I want, I want them for both, you know what I mean? So if you have a dark mode, then it shows up nice. If you're on light mode, then it shows up nice. And this one, I feel like it's only going to look well in a certain mode. So let's continue. Right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Photoshop. And for those who don't have Photoshop, I'm going to put in the link somewhere, this guy's article. I just found it. Uh, 17 best Photoshop alternatives in 2021. Um, just take a look at it, right? I don't even know this guy or whoever wrote it. But I just figured, hey, it's easy. And I'll put it in the link somewhere so you guys could... Um, find alternatives. But in any case, if you want to try out uh, Photoshop, I'm not, you know, getting any kickbacks from there. Go ahead and download their free version and do your thing. All right, let's go ahead and start. All right, so we're in Photoshop here. Okay, so again, I repeat, you know, this logo is fully transparent because as you can see, it's not just transparent showing the checkerboard on the outside of the logo, but it's also showing it on the inside. And the idea that we're going here is that uh, we want to make sure that the outside is transparent, right? We don't want like a block. I don't know if you guys seen some websites where the favicon looks like a block and it just doesn't make any sense. So instead we want it so that it's shaped like if it's um, the logo itself, circular in this case. So what I'm going to do is I still want the insides to be white. So let's go ahead and do that here on Photoshop. Uh, what I'm going to do is on the bottom right hand corner, and for those guys who are experts at Photoshop, I know that there's a trillion ways to go about this. I'm just showing the easiest way, so bear with me. Uh, I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna add a new layer. So once I click on this plus button right here, you see over here, this little plus button right here, um, I click on that and it gives me a layer number two, okay? And then from there, the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the layer. So this is like the canvas of the layer. Now I'm gonna create the layer. 
by creating the layer, I'm going to go over here on this uh, left side. I'm going to click on this tool because by default, you know, when, whenever I open Photoshop, it's always set up here or wherever you left it last. So I'm going to click on right here just to make sure that I'm on the right tool. And I get a crosshair, right? My icon becomes a crosshair. And then I'm going to click and hold and just draw over this box. And you don't have to be super perfect. It's better if you're over it, like if you pass it versus go within it, right? So, you know, you don't have to be picture perfect, but I'll just let go of the mouse right there, okay? And you'll notice that this black layer just got on top of it. Uh, pay attention to this toolbar here. Uh, I know that if you open Photoshop for some users, you might not get this toolbar, so just pay attention and look how it looks like. Um, I just don't want to spend too much time in this video explaining how to get here. So anyways, here's our rectangle. This is our layer. You see it? All right, so see where it says appearance? We're going to click on here where it says fill. And from here, you're going to click on this right here. See? Boom. All right, now that I did that, okay, um, what I'm going to do is put the this cursor. I'm going to go to this selector because I don't want to click anything by accident. And I'm going to grab this layer right here and put it underneath it like this. And now, as you can see, that's what it looks like right there. You see? So I'm just going to click away, and now that's it. But again, we got everything filled in, but what about the exterior? Like, we don't want this to be a square. We don't want it to look like that. That's what this next step is all about. Okay. So then from here, what we're going to do is that we're going to merge these two layers. So on my keyboard, uh, if you're on Windows, it's Control. Press and hold Control if you're on a Mac. Plus, uh, press and hold command and I'm going to select the first layer and so I'm still holding that um, command or control button and click on the second one right and then right click so you can see these options right here right what we're going to do is merge we want to merge the layers okay give me a second sorry about that so what's here Merge the layers right there, okay? Click on that, and those become one, okay? From here, we're gonna go to this one right here, the one that has the magic eraser, okay? Right there. And on this tool, okay? So on this tool right here, if you notice that you have this icon and it says that you can't do anything, um, go right here and make sure that you select the layer. That was my mistake. Okay, and as you could see now I could see the crosshair or the um, The mouse it turned into that. So that's just in case. All right, so once we're there just go and select the edges You see and so the edges now start to become those corners Right all of a sudden this became a Photoshop tutorial. Okay from here. Uh, we have one final step and so what we're going to do is we're going to select on the upper menu. I know you can't see it, but go to where it says image. And then from image, let's go ahead and image size. All right, here we go. And we have this image size here. Uh, resample to preserve details. Okay, you might have some other values. So let's put it here. Okay. And then from here, make sure that this link is occurring right here, this link. And then also make sure that this is not in inches or anything. Make sure you put it on pixels from there let's go ahead and change this 32 by 32 it's gonna look microscopic like that and then go ahead and it just converted it then from there go up where it says file and then file uh, let's see if we could export to hmm I think PNG is fine okay if it gives us trouble then let's go ahead and export that into uh, JPEG so we're with English market Favicon. Great. We're done with Photoshop. Let's get out of here. We're back at Shopify. From here, you remember your place. In case if you guys forgot, just rewind. Okay. Uh, right here, we're going to do is change image. Okay. Changing our image. Uh, let's go ahead and upload. It looks kind of funky, right? You see that? Looks kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and open that. And it's okay if it does look like that, right? Uh, because it's a very small file. Let's go ahead and press select and then once that's selected Let's go ahead and press save on the theme itself 
And once that's done, at this point, uh, you should be all good in order to test out the site itself. Uh, let's see if we could go ahead and test it out. So basically what we're going to do is go back over here. Let's click on the eyeball. And there it is. You saw that? So I went ahead and updated. All right, guys, I really hope that this tutorial wasn't too much time consuming for you. Um, and I also appreciate on the comments on those who are saying that, hey, you know, if, if you talk, uh, don't worry about the speed of, of how you talk and all that stuff. You know, I totally get it. I want to respect everybody's time. And yeah, I also learned that you could go ahead and do the playback where you allow uh, the speed of the tutorial to go to like 1.5 or 1.75. I actually watch some tutorial videos like that too. Like some some people, they just drag for me and I'm just like, your information is still valuable, right? So I'm not going to criticize. Let me just go ahead and up the speed. And, and I love the videos. The videos are great. So I hope that I also provide that good content. Thank you again, Well Builders Market. Uh, they, these guys will go live pretty soon. I can't wait to see them, hopefully by next week. And uh, other than that, guys, all I ask is demolish that blue like button. Just demolish it. Uh, that's what helps out the channel. Until then, see you next time.